Cornwall, Coastal Retreat, Tourist Hub and Surfer's Paradise. Situated on England's stunning south coast, Cornwall boasts beautiful beaches, picturesque sunsets and breathtaking views. Also a vital wildlife haven, Cornwall is exceptionally popular with photographers and filmmakers alike. This awe-inspiring county frequently features in documentaries, television series and films. However, these programmes often neglect to include the more bitter reality of life on the edge of the UK. Far from the idyllic scenes illustrated in countless productions, Cornwall's rugged coastline also harbours a more sinister side. Vulnerable, exposed and open to the elements, the Cornish coast is victim to the almighty power of the British Channel. Unforgiving and unrelenting, persistent waves continually batter the coastline, eating away at its shores, rendering the sea a deadly force, never to be underestimated. None know this better than the RNLI, known in full as the Royal National Lifeboat Institution. The charity works tirelessly to save lives at sea, relying on crews of selfless volunteers at 237 lifeboat stations across the UK and Ireland. One such crew is that based at the Lizard Lifeboat Station in Cornwall, situated less than a mile from England's most southerly point, the Lizard. Lizard Point has been used as a navigation marker for seafarers since prehistoric times, being mentioned as early as 250 BC. During this time, countless lives and ships have been lost in the treacherous waters. But over the last 150 years, many have also been saved. This is thanks to the introduction of RNLI lifeboats to the Lizard back in 1859. The lifeboat stations on the Lizard Peninsula have had a rather rocky and varied history, beginning with the initial station at Polpior. Now abandoned, the Polpior station was in use until 1961, falling into disrepair at the hands of its extremely exposed location. Launching boats from both Polpior and the alternative station at Cajwith proved exceptionally difficult and perilous in unfavourable conditions. Furthermore, due to the vital importance of this busy fishing area, there was necessity for a larger lifeboat than could be launched from either Polpior or Cadgeworth. All of this, coupled with the high cost of repairs and general upkeep, warranted the closure of both stations, leading to a replacement construction at Kilcobbin Cove commencing in 1958. The subsequent demolition of the Kilcobbin Cove Boathouse in 2009 made way for the brand new Lizard Lifeboat Station, which is still in use today. Set at the base of a 140-foot cliff, the new state-of-the-art station sits in one of the most remote and precarious locations in the whole of Great Britain. Each time that they receive a call and the boat is launched, the crew must run down over 200 steep steps from the station car park down to the boathouse in Kilcobbin Cove. A series of boats have served the stations over the years, with the Lizard seeing a significant upgrade from the original 135 pounds 30 foot Anna Maria rowboat in 1859 to the present day 2.7 million 53 foot twin engine Tamar class lifeboat currently serving the site. The all-weather RNLB Rose is fitted with an advanced operating system, helping make the invaluable life-saving work of the crew safer and more manageable for all. The commission of this incredible Tamar-class vessel would not have been possible were it not for the generosity of countless individuals, businesses and organisations throughout the Lizard Lifeboat's greatest fundraising appeal to date. Nationwide, the RNLI depends on charitable donations to help meet the inexhaustible costs of supplies the courageous crews require. That's everything from boots to boats.
With the cost of maintaining this life-saving service reaching the dizzy heights of 168 million in 2015, the RNLI truly is a worthy and desiring cause. Please donate today. You never know when you may need them.